Hey guys and welcome to our channel. This is Arian and in this video I'm gonna walk you through the main features of Keep CRM and I'm gonna also show you how you can use it as a complete beginner. So let's get started. This is Keep CRM after signing in. So in this tutorial I will show you how to create a form for your newly added contacts. This is done by choosing marketing on the left menu. Then choose create form on the top right. Now you will have a choice whether to create it internal, which means that you will be the one who will fill this form once a contact is added, or you can use it as a public form, which will be filled by your leads or contacts whenever they are added. So here I will choose public, and I'm going to choose the template name as contact form, then start building your form. And now we have four main steps to create our form. First one is build, second one is style, third one is automate, and fourth one is publish. I will ignore the third step because we will create a separate video for how to automate your form. So starting with the first step, which is build, you will have to insert a form name. So I will just name it um, tutorial one. And you have here a preview of your form so you can edit and see the edits applied at the same time. So here you have the button text which is submit, you can change it, let's choose for example confirm and you will find it changed, so let's make it back submit. Now you have the fields, so here we have four fields and we have on the left four fields as well. So if you want to change or edit on any of these fields, you can just go to this button and you will be able to see the label name which is written here and you can also use a helper text. So if I added a helper text, for example, your first name, you will find that this symbol has been added. And once you navigate your mouse to it, you will see a text which help you to fill this column or this cell. You can also make any field required or not. So if I switched it to not required, you will find that this asterisk, the red asterisk here, has disappeared from the cell. And if I made it back, it will appear again. You can also delete the field if you are not interested in this information provided by this field. You can also add new fields to your form from add fields or create new field. The difference between both is that add fields will add a field from preset fields uh, which are provided by keep. So you will not ha you will not be able to add a new field, but you will have to choose from the ones which are provided by keep. So if I chose add field, for example, and I clicked on this drop down menu, you will have that you ha you will see that you have limited options from which you can add your field. However, if I deleted this field, and I clicked on create new field, now I will be able to create any field I want. All what I need to do is to just insert the field name and type, and I can also go to the advanced options, but I will just leave it for now. Now, if you are satisfied with this, you can also preview it from this button. So if you are satisfied with this preview, you can just go to next step, which you will be able to edit the style itself. So in style, you can edit or you can display or remove a company logo. You can also change a logo from settings. You can change the background color. So if I clicked on here, I will find a gradient that I can choose from. You can also change button color and text color as well. You can change the alignment of the button from here. Once you are done, you can click on next and go to automate, which I, as I said before, I will cancel this step for now because it will be covered in a separate video. And finally, you have the fourth step, which is publish, from which you can um, choose whether after submitting this form, the user or the contact will be directed to a default thank you page or another page that you will have to provide its URL. You can also choose how you can share this form, whether you will be able to just copy the link and drop it wherever you want or share it on your social media, or you can add it to your website through HTML code. So once you are done and let's say you copied the link, you can go and save and exit your form. So this is how easy you can create your form with Keep CRM. So if you are interested in knowing how to create an appointment for your newly added contacts after they fill their form, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned and thank you for watching.